Over the past few decades, the LGBTQ plus community has had rapidly increasing exposure, most notably in the West, but also in Asia. In particular, the trials and tribulations of transgender people has come into common discussion, with there even being notable celebrity examples, for instance, Elliot Page in North America and Jean Singh in China. This perceived sudden appearance of transgender people has perplexed many people with much confusion about who they are and what it means to be transgender. Through this informative video, we will explain what it means to be transgender, the oft forgotten historical normalization of transgender people, and the difficulties transgender people face, as well as what legislations are in place for their protection, especially in Asia. Before we can start to explain what being transgender means, we need to go through a few concepts. Let's start with the difference between gender and sex. To put it simply, biological sex is based on chromosomal, hormonal, and anatomical characteristics. But it's also not that cut and dry. Some people are born with intersex conditions, including Klinefelter syndrome and androgen insensitivity syndrome. Gender, on the other hand, is what you feel that you are, what you identify as. Unlike sex, your gender identity is about psychology, not biology. It's invisible. Gender expression is how you express your gender identity through gender roles, behavior, dress, or appearance. To put it simply, gender is what's between your ears and sex is what is between your legs. Knowing this, transgender is an umbrella term that can refer to transsexual persons, cross-dressers, androgynes, etc. It has nothing to do with a person's sexual orientation, who they're attracted to. Being transgender is changing, crossing, or going beyond gender. A mismatch, if you will, with your own internal identity and with what society expects from you based on the attributes you were born with. But many forget that this isn't a new concept or term. Trans people are not some new phenomena. They are across the world and throughout history, much of which has been erased. Think about the Babaylans of the Philippines, many of whom were murdered during the colonialization of the Philippines by the Spanish. Or the Two-Spirit people of Native America, uh, people who identify as both masculine and feminine spirit, the third gender. Or the Bugis tribe of Indonesia, who have a five-gender system. Or the Hicharas of India. Or the Fafafine of the Samoan Islands. Historically, not only were they accepted in society, but they were praised, sometimes feared, and seen as powerful. Some were the shamans or spiritual leaders of their communities and cultures. But looking at the present, we see them being repressed, persecuted, and erased. Now this persecution and erasure is not limited just to transgender people. Rather, it is shared by the other members of the LGBTQ plus family, with homosexuality itself criminalized in a number of Asian countries. These shared experiences have allowed for an intersectional community in which everyone faces discrimination based on a number of factors, including their race, gender, sexual orientation, etc. Sexual orientation, gender identity, and intersex are generally recognized as sensitive or taboo topic. Despite being an international modern city, Hong Kong culture is still traditional in many ways. Traditional Asian family values are deeply rooted. Marriage and having children is considered a norm and also the key to fulfilling the duty of filial piety and respect for elderly. There is also strong opposition to LGBTQ plus rights from evangelical Christian groups. Governments use this context to justify the lack of legislative action. Discrimination and injustice against LGBT plus people are common in all areas of life without explicit legal protection. But social attitudes are changing. The LGBT plus community is becoming more prominent. Hong Kong people, especially the younger generation, are much more accepted than previously thought. According to surveys such as the Hong Kong LGBT Climate Study and the 2016 report commissioned by the Equal Opportunities Commission. Despite the increasing visibility in both popular culture and in daily life, trans people still face severe discrimination, stigma and systemic inequality. One of the issues the community may face is a lack of legal protection. Trans people face a legal system that often does not protect from discrimination based on gender identity. For instance, legislation specifically designed to prohibit trans people from accessing public bathrooms that corresponds with their gender identity, or creating exemptions based on religious beliefs that would allow discrimination against LGBTQ plus people. Oftentimes, trans people live in poverty at elevated rates, and for trans people of color, these rates are even higher. The trans community has been associated with mental illness, 
social deviation and sexual predation for over centuries and is still facing serious stigma. These misinformed beliefs are perpetuated through family, friends or colleagues at work who reject someone when they learn of their transgender identity. And there are those who abuse, harass and are seriously violent against transgender people. These activities and stigma prevents transgender people from often receiving the services they may need for survival and well-being. They may be dismissed, unemployed or denied promotion due to their transgender identity. Too much harassment prevents transgender people from exercising their most basic voting rights. Transgender people experience violence much more often than the average person, with the majority of trans people experience some form of intimate violence, including sexual abuse and physical assault. This kind of violence can have serious long-term effects, and can sometimes be fatal. Many also do not have health insurance, with some adults denied medical care by their doctors or healthcare provider because of their gender identity. This indicates a healthcare system that does not meet the needs of the trans community. The widespread lack of accurate identification amongst transgender people can affect all aspects of life, including access to shelters and other public services. Without an ID, you will not be able to travel, enroll in schools, or access many of the services that are essential to functioning in society. The price to process these new identity documents may not be affordable for some members of the trans community. Like any other human being, LGBTQ plus communities need rules that protect them from any kind of mistreatment. For example, in a workplace, the company should consult local LGBT organizations to understand the local context for LGBT people. Other ways we can help the transgender community are by introducing explicitly LGBT inclusive anti-discrimination, bullying and harassment policies. Auditing and extending partner benefits to same-sex partners. Establishing employee engagement mechanisms like LGBT networks and allies programs. Carrying out LGBT awareness raising events. Training HR staff and promoting inclusivity policies. Carrying out LGBT inclusive diversity training. Encouraging senior managers to promote their commitment to LGBT inclusion and equality. Partnering with local LGBT groups to advance LGBT equality beyond the workplace. Work with suppliers and partners to advance LGBT workplace equality. Gender is separate from sex and sexuality. Being transgender is having a gender identity that is not reflective of the sex you were assigned at birth. The community, even in a city as modern as Hong Kong, has experienced a lack of legal support and protection. However, with increasing awareness, education, and support for the transgender community, the lives and livelihoods of trans people can be normalized and approach equality.